it's time for boarding. Today I'm flying from OL Tamboy International Airport to Lagos. Follow me on my 5 hours plus flight aboard APIS Airlines Boeing 347. The boarding process was smooth. My flight wasn't delayed due to early and fast boarding process. The crew were friendly and attentive. I'm just going to do a quick mention on the sitting arrangement. The economy class is arranged in 343 configuration, while the business class is arranged in 232 configuration and first class in 222 configuration. In both business and first class, the seats can recline up to 180 degrees. This is the cockpit of Epis 7 Hello, Captain. Hello, My name is Adachi, and you're Captain? Iflu. You look Ethiopian. Yeah, yes. I'm Ethiopian, yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. You can tell him to be the Walachi. Okay. Where they are to have television, Neka. Oh. <laughs> I remember when Epis did the inaugural flight for original destination. We did Banjul, Sierra Leone, Senegal, yeah. and back to Lagos. Yeah. He was the captain that took us. Hello, captain. Yeah, how are you? I'm very well. Uh, I have flew many because um, my first landing was on the 25th of October 1981. Wow. So until today, from the small aircraft. Then the small two engines until uh, 737, then Airbus 320, then uh, this one, 377. Yeah, I started flying uh, the Havilland Twin Over in 1985, March 1985, then 737, ATR 42, 727, 767, 757. And three point seven and uh, seventy seven as well. Okay. Uh, so yeah. you're excited? Yeah, of course. Yeah, for of course. this route? The, you know there is uh, no airline that yeah. gives best opportunity than Airbus. Okay. We are going back, back with the two hundred and forty eight. Wow. So, That's so, impressive. Yeah, yeah. So how many hours is the flight? Uh the flight will be uh five hours uh, twenty minutes. Five hours, 20 minutes. To get to Lagos. To get to Lagos. Yeah. Okay, how's the weather going to be like? No, it's okay. Uh, there are some clouds uh, around uh, um, Libreville. Okay. But not too much. Uh, you wouldn't feel it. Okay. Uh, but uh, anyway, we go to avoid it. So there will not be a tribunal. Okay. By God's grace. Okay. Thank you. the flight is full and so we have up to 240 something passengers really full
love the scenic departure out of Johannesburg. Shortly after takeoff, lunch was served. This is it. The main course was a very sumptuous jollof rice, vegetables, plantain, and chicken. So delicious that I requested for another plate, which they were more than pleased to provide. And now it's becoming very noisy. Let's go check out what business class passengers have been eating and drinking the whole time. Hi, beautiful. We know that planes aren't known for great food, especially in economy. But for those in first and business class, the dining experience is completely different. So much food. On board this flight, we'll be looking at business class meal, what they offer from Johannesburg to Lagos, Nigeria. I do, I'm a food critic. Okay, you're a food critic? Yes. Okay. What I do on board every flight with Gina, we go for us to critique the meals, we taste them. Each meal we have to taste them, so that way we know if uh, what they presented to us is the same thing that they're giving to the customers. Because when you go for meal presentation, they give you a different thing, and on board the taste might be different, the meal might be different. We have a menu card, so it has to correspond with what we've already seen when we went for the tasting. So what we do is, when we now come on board the flight, we taste every meal from first class to business class to economy we make sure that we have a bite of every meal so that it is standard it is what we want so it's not as if they give us a different thing at the facility and now come on board and give a different thing to our customer so when i'm on board gina too she's already done that in economy so okay. i did in first class so but when i'm in business class i try to like lay the table take a picture, make people see what it is. Some people say, oh yeah, you're a foodie, you have so much food in front of you, but the truth is I don't even eat them, it's just a bite. Okay. I just take a bite and that's it. But I want people to like see what we have most of the time. You, If you want to eat to <laughs> you drop, yes, we're here to make you eat to you drop. So we'll be getting a taste of what APIS Airlines business class passengers have been eating and drinking the whole time. So they brought you two different meals. Oh. This is fish and the potatoes is grilled. Can you bring the other dessert, the chocolate one? You know, we have both the same dessert, so the caramel, so bring it so that we can have that. This is the champagne. This is the amarula. We have the miniature in economy, all the drinks, even martini, everything. We have miniature in economy. So this is red wine. In the business class and first class, they have options of four starter four main meal they have four different options it's not the same meal first class meal is different business class is different so most of the time we have passengers that have four options of the starter but i took only two options here this is fresh because the date is already always there on each meal so but they have four options and different options in first class and in business class they don't have the same option of meals the same thing with their main meals the same thing with their desserts so, and also we have cheese on board with some crackers, but most of the passengers don't like cheese, but we encourage them to have some cheese with the crackers and we we'll give them a pot of wine because we use pot to actually have cheese and crackers. It goes down well. It's like a, it's a aperitif. It helps you to like digest your systems. Then um, this is the um, uh, white rice with uh, sea same chicken with sea same seeds. This is the uh, fish with grilled potatoes. 
and um, got some fruit salad here and um, caramel uh, dessert so this is actually my favorite it's a uh, biltong with an uh, egg and some mixed um, puree so it's, it's nice it's really nice then over here i have the ephori roll with uh, eba a lot of passengers requested for more ephori roll more egusi and pepper soup but it's finished because a lot of people prefer that it's nice yeah so most people always request for the pepper soup and some people request for the salmon because there's salmon so it all depends you get some for vegetarians Yes, we have vegetarian meals on board. But the proper thing to do, if you're looking for your ticket, if you have a special meal, you are supposed to indicate that. Okay. So, but normally we we'll try to put vegetarian meals on board just in case. But that's the proper thing to do. So we have all sorts of meals. So it depends on the circle, depends on the option. Each time we have a different circle. Every quarterly, every three months, we change the circle. So we go back for meal tasting, same thing happens in Sharjah, same thing happens in Lagos, same thing happens in South Africa. So every other route we introduce, we must go for meal tasting. But I taste everything that is on board so that I'm sure that the, the taste is the same. Not that they give us a different thing for um, presentation and give a different thing to the customer. So Gina and I have to ensure that all the meals taste the same. Then if there's any grey areas, we report back to them and they make corrections. So it's a progressive thing. Then we also get feedback from the crew members. If the passengers complain about a particular food. Then we also notice that the portion, if people are eating a particular food and not eating another one, we try to find out why then we change it. If people don't like it, we change it. So we try to like accommodate the African culture. So most of the meals are continental and African, so that one must have a mix of what they want to eat. So for each flight, I try to taste everything, just have a taste of everything. But at the end of the day, yes, uh, it's, it's just to make people understand that we have varieties on board and to encourage people to fly the first and the business class. So I'm board my flight from Johannesburg to Lagos and having a taste of business class meal on board a piece. Here you fancy food are plenty. The food presentation was fantastic and delicious. As expected from APC Lines, the menu aims to showcase typical Nigerian dishes with an emphasis on flavor. Passengers can eat dishes inspired by international cuisine or make the most of the fact that they are on Nigeria's biggest and largest airline. I'm finally back to my seat. What's your experience like? Beautiful. A beautiful experience. The journey was very smooth and successful. Most of all, the refreshment in the aircraft was beautiful. I can give it a five star. Uh, we have, uh, I think, three times uh, meal in the plane, which uh, normally you don't get from any airline. We have uh, lunch, and then we have uh, dessert, and then we have uh, another, I don't know what to call it again, but another food before landing. <laughs> Totally, it's the best for now. For me personally, I was very content about the flight experience. The service on this five to four hours long flight was great. We had several meals, snacks and drink services. Both alcoholic and non-alcoholic drinks were offered regularly. Before landing, another snack was served, that is pre-landing snack. The crew were friendly and attentive. Overall, it isn't a bad way to fly and with that, I will see you on my next video. Until then, fly safe my friends. And please don't forget to subscribe to Adachi Uchenda's Large Race for more trip reports and aviation videos.